Hi guys, this is Pete and welcome to another episode of PC Repairs for Dummies. Hey guys, I'll tell you what, I haven't put a video up on this channel for a little while. I've been neglecting you guys a little bit, haven't I? Hey? <laughs> i tell you what gang, I've had an insane three or four months and uh, yeah, some of you guys will be aware of all that and uh, man, it's just been busy. But uh, I'm back and I am going to... Uh, start um, posting up some more videos on this channel. A lot of you people have been emailing me, asking me when I'm going to post another one up. You're also emailing me with your computer questions and your ideas uh, for a video. And as a matter of fact, the video that I'm going to uh, shoot today, or what we're going to talk about today, was a suggestion uh, from one of you guys out there. All right, now, it's, it's odd, uh, I guess, how sometimes the simplest things can be the things that are easily overlooked and uh, I had a customer of mine had spent a hundred and fifty dollars on a new laptop battery because their battery went flat and their laptop wouldn't work and they had just assumed that it was the battery so they spent hundred and fifty dollars got a new battery for it and uh, as it turned out it actually wasn't the battery it was the power supply for the laptop so today I'm going to show you guys how quick and easy it is to test the power supply on your laptop now if your laptop doesn't work anymore if the battery has gone flat, the very, very, very first thing that you should test is the power supply. Okay, let's have a look at how it's done. It's really, really simple. So guys, the very first thing you're going to need is one of these, and this is called a multimeter. Now, these things are uh, very, very cheap. You can buy these at any electronic shop or uh, hardware store, and they're only uh, about $10 to uh, $15. They're a great little gadget, and if you're going to be doing any of your own PC repairs, then you really should invest in one of these. All right, very, very simple to operate. Now, um, a lot of women particularly get scared of products like this, but you shouldn't. Uh, they're very, very simple to use, and I'm going to show you how simple in just a few seconds. All right, so we've got a couple of laptop power supplies here that we're going to test. Okay, make sure that it's plugged in. Now, bear in mind that the uh, voltage on these things uh, cannot hurt you. It's, they're only low voltage. Most laptop power supplies run on about 19 volts, so completely safe to test. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to have a little bit of a read on here and just see what sort of voltage that we should be getting. Now, most laptop power supplies run at 19 volts, but they can range at anywhere between 12 and 20 volts. So just have a look and see. This one says that it should be outputting 19 volts. So we're going to set our multimeter to V for voltage. And we're going to set it in the range that we want to test. This multimeter has a 20 volt line on it, so we're going to set it at 20 volts. Now, again, what we're going to do now is we're just going to test it. Now, all laptop power supplies have an inner and an outer core. They have an, uh, an outer stainless steel core, and they have an inner sleeve, which is separated by a little plastic lug. Now, it doesn't really matter which way around you go, but just... Uh, for future reference, the internal sleeve is generally the positive. So we're going to put that in there like that. And we're going to put this on here like that. <laughs> Only joking. And we're going to see if we've got voltage. And as you can see here, this one is testing at 19.38 volts, which is absolutely perfect. Okay, so that's a good power supply. Alright, now, once you've tested your power supply and you know it works, you can then start looking at things like batteries and, uh, and other areas. So that's how simple it is. I'm just going to show you how to test one of these other power supplies over here because sometimes you'll get a power supply like this and the internal core is actually too small to get your prong into. So here's what you do, gang. I'm gonna show you what I use, but you guys can use a paper clip if you want to. I use one of these tricky little gadgets here. Now this is actually a DVD drawer manual opener and uh, I'll cover that in another video. But what you do is you just pop your paper clip into the middle like that, which then gives you your point of contact and you then Put your electrodes, one on there and one on the outside sleeve, and that will give you exactly the same result. So there you go, gang. There's a little tip from Virus Pete. 
If your power supply has failed again, then before you rush off to the manufacturer's website to order a genuine product like a HP or a Dell and spend about $200, I'd suggest that you uh, look at a universal power supply. Now you can buy these online for around about $30 to $40 and uh, they're the power supplies that have the heap of different little plugs on the end of them and uh, they will fit most laptops. Please make sure before you purchase one though that uh, they will fit your brand of laptop uh, or you can, um, you can pick up a second hand power supply once again on eBay for 10 or $15 and if you buy one of these from a reputable or a reputable eBayer then uh, you can't go far wrong. Now uh, you can also buy the universal power supplies at most electronic shops like your Tandys, your Dick Smiths and things like that. However, you will pay between $70 and about $95 for them uh, if you buy them retail. Uh, just a quick tip, I wouldn't uh, be heading down the path of buying a genuine power supply. They are just way too much money and at the end of the day they're all made in China anyway. So there you go gang, another quick tip on uh, PC repair for dummies. Now don't forget guys and girls, if you've got a subject that you'd like me to cover in a future video, drop a comment down here and let me know or if you've got a question regarding your computer once again drop it down here in the comment section and uh, I'll do my best to uh, answer as many of those as I can and I'm going to pick out a really good topic to shoot in an upcoming video. Okay guys, well thanks for coming, <laughs> thanks for joining me, <laughs> hope you have fun, I have. <laughs> Love you.